Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're having an amazing day and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can fix or rather give you a few ideas on how to fix the uh, stuck on downloading uh, state on your battle.net client. So let's get right into it. Uh, as you can see, I have a support window open right now. And in this support video, this guy has a problem with the initializing state. This is pretty much the same thing. Uh, you have the pretty much same root causes for all these problems. So these options might help you fix your problems. Now, uh, as you can see, oh, and first of all, before you even try uh, anything, make sure that your uh, internet is on, that it is functioning properly. If it isn't, try restarting your router and retrying again. If that doesn't work, make sure your windows is updated to the latest version if it's not it can cause a lot of problems for me it caused some problems with some games and i couldn't launch them so if you update it it might fix itself then you can try restarting the battle.net launcher which of course might fix your problem uh, if that doesn't work try launching it either as an admin and launching the update agent as an admin as well and that might fix it because of several permission problems that might arise uh, same thing with directories, you can try changing the actual directory, reinstalling it in another drive, specifically a different drive. If it is installed on your system drive, uh, some permissions might get screwed up and you won't be able to use battle.net for downloads at all because it doesn't have permission to install. Uh, other than that, if that doesn't work, try reinstalling the battle.net launcher, uh, that might help. Also, you can try uh, deleting the cache file. Uh, which you can do through the program data file. I have the tutorial for that recorded uh, in another video on this channel, so check it out. And another thing you can do is try disabling the antivirus, which might help, might not. What helped this guy is he disabled auto update and everything went uh, fine after that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Please let me know if any of these work for you, and I'll see you guys in another video.